Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today for this episode, it is time to begin thinking about our next overnight adventure. This will be, of course, the Bushcraft Overnighter. I am super excited about this, guys. I cannot wait to get out there. I cannot wait to do some true bushcraft. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy it a great deal and maybe even learn something along the way. So, with it being time to start thinking about our next trip out, you guys, of course, get to vote on some of the details of this trip. So, for right now, you guys have the option to vote on two aspects. The type of shelter that we're going to build and use, and the type of pack that we're going to use. So guys, here are the options. As I go through these, I will try to put a picture on the screen of the type of shelter it is and the type of pack. So first, we'll start with the shelter types, and this is what you have to choose from. Now, if you don't know what these are, you can actually look it up on the internet, but like I said, you'll see a picture and maybe that'll give you a good idea there. So the first one is a super shelter. Now, it seems like super shelters have been kind of popular lately on YouTube, but I tell you what, they're, they're definitely cool, they're definitely functional, I like them a good deal, so that's something to consider. So option number one for shelter is a super shelter. Option number two is a lean-to. Option number three is an A-frame shelter. Option number four is a one-man shelter. And option number five is just a straight up improvised shelter. Uh, and that just happens to be just wherever we're at. We'll just go with what we find and what we can make. Nothing planned. Sounds like fun to me. Now, moving on to the next set of options and that deals with packs. Now, when it comes to bushcraft, you can use any sort of pack. It doesn't have to be any specific kind. So right here, we have a number of different packs options. We have a Gregory 45Z pack. We have a Swedish military 35 liter. Very cool. We have a Swiss engineer pack. Pretty cool too. We have the most excellent G1 little brother from Everly Stock. And our final option for this category is the FILBE Assault Pack. So guys, there you have it. There are the options. You guys get to select the type of shelter we're gonna make and the type of pack. Everything else I will pick on my own and I will pick those based on the conditions at the time. We're now heading into January. Winter's here, it's definitely cold. We're looking at snow, sleet, all that good stuff. So we'll just kinda of have to kinda of play that by ear. I'll make those decisions. So make sure to head on over to our website, theoutdoorgearreview.com. You will find all the options to vote on the right-hand side, kind of down just a little bit. So head on over there, cast your vote now. Let's get outdoors. Let's do some bushcraft. Let's have a great time. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Thank you so much for participating in the voting process. I love it. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys around. Everybody, take care.